Hello everyone, this is Niatek with Tetra Network and in this video I would like to show you how the base prices works in Tetra Network system. Okay, so what you can see on my screen is the page in Manage Fulfillment on the products page. You may actually notice that I don't have any products added yet. I've actually done this on purpose so we can give it a fresh start and start from the very beginning. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on turn it on for the smart select. This will let me to add the entire catalog or specific brands from, from the selected catalog into my Deco Network store. I can browse through many catalogs that we support such as Sanmar, Sanmar, Lalawise, uh, SNS and more. But in this case I would choose Sanmar and instead of adding the entire catalog I will click on select brands. I will turn off the option select all brands, then also I will deselect all and I will select the Gildan brand only. So I will have a decent number of products in the system, 36, and click save. What you may notice on the right side uh, of, of the select catalog page is that the system actually shows me that you will add only 13 products. This is because 23 products are considered to be non-decoratable products. Why is that? This is because I have only DTG process enabled in my Deco Network store at the moment. So the system is smart enough to recognize which products are good for DTG and which are not. Such as polyester, for example, you may not want to use this for DTG. Uh, if you want to override those settings, this behavior, you can. I know there are actually people out there who can print on polyester. Uh, however, by default, uh, that's the expected behavior, and I will just save those changes. And what will happen next is the system will add those products to my system, to my Deco Network site. It shouldn't take long, actually just a few seconds. And right now I should have Gildan products in my Deco Network system. So let's take a look at the blank prices. Where is this price? Right now, when you look at this price, you can think about it that this is the recommended retail price, which means by default, that's the price that you should, should see on your website. Let's, uh, let's take a look and compare. 2000 L, this is the very first product. The price, the blank price is 298. So let's see what my site will show me. I will go to view store and I will open this in a new tab. And in fact, you can see that the price is 298. Okay, so let's go back. And now the question is, wait a minute, 298, this is how much I'm paying to, to the supplier and not how much I want to charge our, our end users for it. And that's a good thinking. This is the wholesale price. And the reason why I'm seeing the wholesale price in here also as a retail price is because I didn't add the markup the catalog markup on top of it. So now let me show you how you can mark those prices up. You can do it by going to settings and then click on default catalog price markup. As you can see, my markup right now is zero. So I want to increase this markup. Let's actually do 100%. And once I will do 100% and save those changes, my base prices should go up by 100%. So now there will be the real retail prices that I have in my store. So let's click on the products to verify again. And as you can see, all of the prices are now doubled. We're talking only about the blank prices for now. And let's also verify on the homepage. We refresh the homepage. And the prices are also doubled as well. So it's 596 is right now, which is the expected behavior. Next. Can you customize those prices? Can you put like the custom price for, for each blank in your system? The answer is yes, and we will discuss this in the next video. 